Today, we're going to take a look at the pluggable USB 2.0 digital microscope. Now you look at this thing and you ask yourself, is this microscope good? And the answer is that it is $40. Take it or leave it. For me, I just wanted something simple that would show tiny things as bigger things. While there are definitely better choices for microscopes out there, like the Leica DM1000 High Definition Digital Microscope, it's kind of expensive. I don't want to spend that much. I'm fine with my $40. Let's get this thing up and running. There are three major pieces, the stand, stage, and the microscope itself. The microscope is powered and transmits data via USB-A or C. A USB-C adapter is included on the cable itself, which is a nice addition. It has built-in LED lights, which is helpful. You can adjust the brightness of it with this thumb wheel. The focus adjustment is this large gray knob that you can adjust. There are two divots on the microscope where it will connect to the stand. It'll click in place. As far as plastic slabs go, the stage is one of the better ones. It has some measurements for imperial and metric units along the sides of it. It also features a grid, which is helpful for focusing the microscope on some objects. The stand connects to the stage with this suction plunger. Does it work well? Not really. It has some issues that you would probably expect. I mean, just look at it. You can guess what's going to happen. Now that we have this thing put together, we'll plug it into my PC and download the software on their website. The application is very basic, but honestly, I can appreciate that. There's no bloatware, as far as I can tell. It's intuitive to use. There are some settings that we can adjust, but we're just gonna make everything the best possible quality and take some pictures with it. I went to a rock and mineral show recently and picked up some bismuth because look at it, it looks pretty cool. I'm not a scientist by any means, but bismuth doesn't typically appear like this. This specimen is what is known as a hopper crystal. You can actually make these by melting down some bismuth and pulling it out when it's cooled, or you can just buy some. Here's some of the metadata of the images too, so you can see the details. Here's a tooth that looks pretty cool. You can see the ballpoint of this pen. Here's a smiley face I drew with the pen. Here's a look at a quarter. And here's a close up of Bugs Bunny. That's about it. I'm satisfied with the microscope, even if it is janky. At some point I'll probably super glue the stand to the stage so it doesn't pop off anymore but I don't really think I'll use this thing that often, which is part of the reason why I bought a cheap one in the first place. I wouldn't recommend this particular one if you're gonna be using a microscope on a regular basis, mostly because the suction cup plunger thing is a huge issue. And when you're trying to adjust the focus, the entire microscope moves because you have to adjust the focus knob. You're moving the actual scope itself, which can throw off the focus. So you have to tweak it a bit more. It's kind of janky. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. I'm trying to get on a schedule where I upload a video each month. So subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks again.